shenanigans of D&D 5e podcast. Oh. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Shields and Shenanigans. Um, I'm one of your hosts, Jack DeCloso, the wizard. Uh, when we last left off, um, the, the story so far, um, a gang of uh, misfits um, from all uh, walks of life had been um, summoned together for a commission to investigate a um, an arson, a burned down orphanage. The investigators were tracking it down. Uh, one of their clues led to some of the uh, um, a, a town to the outskirts of um, a, a country uh, town. Uh, whenever they got over here, they got into a little bit of uh, trouble by like accidentally executing the tribal chieftain. And uh, while they were trying to uh, negotiate a friendly escape from this, they were investigating some other demonic possession. They went to a cave where they saw that there was a uh, ritual that was actually using some of the uh, uh, orphans that were sacrificed um, from, from the orphanage. So there was some sort of demon uh, summoning going on. From here, uh, the, uh, the crew went back to the town to uh, deal with their findings and their uh, the murdering um, the the person and to do also deal with the person who had murdered the uh, chieftain, and that is where we are right now. Insofar as I'm aware, aside from the fact that I was just playing with all of our banners as well, so sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys have the notes on you. Uh, I know how much whiskey I'm carrying around, which I'm disappointed to uh, realize that these are in uh, like shot glass size rather than full full sized. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait! Didn't we use a bunch of that whiskey? Uh, yeah. Yes, for fire traps and uh, also just drinking along. The, like we just started day drinking. <laughs> a significant oh, yeah. portion of the whiskey has been has been depleted. Yes. By, by just by day oh. drinking. Now, as I recall, uh, the last thing we did was we met with um, a specific uh, shadowy figure. Um, yes, certain and... spy master. Yeah, You're all pissed off. Yes, uh, I managed to essentially subjugate a demon in the process. Uh, I it would was either... say subjugate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to have a break the fourth wall. I'm terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, and I know we all leveled up to level two now. Yes. Uh, the the, the spy master did not uh, talk to me because the first time he met with me, he decided I was too stupid to bribe. Oof. <laughs> oof. You are too stupid to bribe. <laughs> but apparently, you, all you have to do is put whiskey in front of you. <laughs> I, I'll have you know. I'll have you know that alcohol is a very important uh, alchemical ingredient in wizardry. I thought it was just okay. that you're too cowardly to bribe. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm too autistic to bribe. I, I really don't understand what he's trying to say. And, and he didn't want to just be explicit. Of I will give you ten trillion. Uh, gold bucks. Yes. Okay. So uh, now with the intro out of the way, I guess. Um, yeah. So, geez. Yeah. So after, so where you've left off, the spy master has left, and uh, for some reason you can't see Ezekiel anywhere. He seems to have disappeared in like the blink of an eye. And you hear some something in the distance. Uh, breathe, Ezekiel. Breathe. Uh, like the the very quiet distance. And uh, some loud echoing sounds, uh, which are then in silence. <laughs> Do we see Ezekiel's dead body? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, he totally uh, killed himself, right? Exactly. 
He killed himself with seven with uh, seventeen magic missiles in the back of the head. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, whenever, I, whenever I look at the spell list, it says it can't deliberately uh, target your. Se- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even editing any of this out either. It's all oh, staying in. Glorious. Okay. <laughs> I would like to teabag him. I'm no. just saying. You don't know where he is. Yeah. All we hear oh. is a voice in the distance. We don't actually see anything. Oh, okay. Nope. I, I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put my junk on something. Uh, look, he was, he was, ne- look, he, no, nothing was, no, nothing, nothing to see here. Okay. So, um, yeah, so, Kaimenos, uh, I believe you guys, uh, uh, all right, sorry. So, you guys are in the secluded area. Um, basically you have been, you've received your reward, 200 gold apiece, Mm -hmm. and, um, you are right now, um, free to do as you wish. So, um, I'm pretty sure you have a plan. I just remembered we were supposed to be doing something about the douchebag that is trying to take over this little town from his niece. We got a douchebag to kill. We, We got a douchebag to kill. Yeah, I think we were considering uh, dumping him bodily into the river, not necessarily well, all in one piece. There's a, uh, a daughter of the chieftain as one possible, and then there's also the brother as one possible. Brother so is dead. Dev killed him. Yeah, Dev decapitated him, and I tried to weaken that Bernie's him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, there's, two, there's two people who could uh, be... Um, Leader of the uh, the tribe now. The daughter. Yeah, the the, the chick and the uh, the dude. I don't Here. care which. Here, I here's, what, here's what we got. We've got the numbnuts that's trying to take over. We already know he's corrupt. Or we have this woman who thinks we killed her father. So no, no, no. We didn't kill her father. Ezekiel killed uh, her father. I think we enough. told we tried to stop him, and now he's dead. <laughs> uh, no, uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I tried to stop him. You sat down and started drinking. <laughs> I, you know how he is. He was going to kill Was. that man, regardless Was. of what we were doing. Was. Hashtag Ezekiel didn't kill himself. <laughs> I, don't know, I think you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> oh, the Ezekiel jokes are going to continue throughout this whole episode, aren't they? <laughs> this episode? Are you kidding? These are going to go on for a while. Yeah, we're going to meme this. It's going to be great. <laughs> at, at, at some point, uh, we'll get on a boat and sail to a tropical island, and like Dev will be the uh, the final. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't so, think I'm going to do that? That's going to be a thing now. So, so remember, everyone, let's get that hashtag going. Hashtag Ezekiel didn't kill himself. Exactly. Let's get that trending. Hashtag. All right. <laughs> come on, All right, come okay. on, non-existent audience, get this trending. Right. Uh, all right. Um, so we, we have two options here. Um, we can off the guy or we can off the chick. Uh, those are the only two options we really have. Well, you know, I could get my son to marry the chick. So let's it, no, no, the he's already he's already married to the horse face. Remember? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, but you have multiple sons. Yeah, but I only have one unmarried son. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah and, and he's now getting married to the dog-faced pony soldier. Hey, hey. So, um, so some of the last notes that I have um, are pet demon Catelworm. Catelworm. K- uh, okay, apparently I'm not supposed to say that three times. Uh, was summoned by Carl Franz. 
for blackmail and mayhem. Um, so Carl Franz is a uh, um, a target that we need to uh, look up. Um, yeah, I know, but we we have this this small side quest here first. Um, yeah, oh, I don't know what's going on yes. to Carl Franz. He, that seems uh, pretty insignificant, honestly, in the grand scheme of things. I, yeah, I don't I don't really care. Little D here doesn't really bother me all that much. Well, whoever's uh, doing some uh, demon summoning, I was thinking we might want to figure out them. I, like, I don't really care who rules this town. Um, yeah, see, so here's the thing. I, I kind of told the guy I'd take care of the girl for him, but he's also a douchebag. Okay, I like li literally, I have no preference in this. Um, but I do want to figure out who uh, summoned the demon. So, oh, can you actually do magic? Oh, yeah, I've done it before. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Whatever the uh, little, like, orphan monstrosity. I was, like, flaming stuff. Pictures or it didn't happen. I have no evidence <laughs> of you using magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um yeah, the uh the, the demon the uh the demon associated um the demon associated journal uh, disputes this claim. <laughs> nice. One of these days I'm gonna be level five and you, th then you'll all see. You'll all see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it, listen, I, I, I made a promise to this guy um that I would you know, cover him here and uh, take care of this niece of his. But at the same time, he had a sigil set on him. And so I don't really trust him. So uh, I'm a little stuck here, guys. I'm looking for somebody to flip the coin. Come on. What are we doing? I'm with you. Let's kill him. I think you should kill the girl. She seems very emotionally unstable. Isn't that right up your alley, though? I will not yeah. kill her. I don't know if I want to deal with her, though. I mean, we could kill them both, away. but wouldn't be. Too I mean, hard I would love both. the power vacuum. That would just be amazing to watch. Um, I, I uh, personally like to see the power vacuum filled by either Flanagan or Branigan, but that's just me. The the whiskey. Right. Uh, I mean, I would prefer uh, Branigan, but not that filthy asshole uh, for uh, Flanagan. He's terrible. All right. All right, Pat, power vacuum it is. Let's go. All right, do we know where she currently is? I forget if he told us or not. A power vacuum that I could step into. No. Maybe. No. Uh, he didn't tell you. Okay. Um, hmm. What time is it right now again? Um, It's like the afternoon. It's only in the afternoon. All right. Um. I guess we have to walk back into town and, and oh, we can't even do that. I was just thinking, walk back into town and ask somebody, but then when she comes up missing, we're going to be the first ones they come look for. Um, okay. Is, I forget the guy's name. Is he in his office again? Uh, who? Uh, the one that uh, uh, put us up to uh, taking her out. Um, Wolfberg, um, well, you haven't, uh, you haven't tried to contact him after you got into town, so you wouldn't know. He's the one that gave us the, he, well, he's yeah, the I, mean, his, me alone. I mean, his estate is still there. Um, you just don't know whether or not he, he's currently residing there at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Kind of a little stuck here, aren't we? Um. So how do we go about doing this? All right, this here. Here's here's a plan. We're gonna go back to his estate and see if he's kicking around somewhere, and I'm gonna find out where she is, and then I'll make my decision from there. Okay, well I'm with you. Okay, so I guess well, we head back to his estate to see if he's there. Yeah, I, I'm not necessarily with you, but I'm not against you. So, uh, yeah. What are you right. talking about? You you're a coward. You will follow us so, regardless. Oh, yeah, right. I'll, 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 I'll fall in line pretty quickly. Yes, right. fall in line. Shut up. 
Okay. Right. So in the courtyard outside of his uh, outside of his estate, you see um you see Wolf uh, the chief Wolfberg um, along with a, a company of twelve guards, uh, twelve imperial guards, mm -hmm. and he seems to be conversing with two uh, with uh, two elves. Uh, uh, and, uh, Alexander, uh, yeah. you uh, stay here. Uh, and Why uh, that's where uh, elves. Two of, and that's uh, where the two of you come in. Alexander, <laughs> you stay here. Keep keep our cowardly friend here company for a moment, please. Please. Okay. And keep it in your pants or I will cut it off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So I'm gonna um, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you guys something. Okay. Yeah, um, I will I will approach the group alone. <laughs> Are you sending it on Discord? Uh it's gonna I'm gonna DM. Well, I didn't know you were sending it via hammer mail. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're, you're crafting the message. Hey, they're they're in, it's engraved. They're in, it's an engraved it's invitation. Engraved. Well, because I don't want to just repeat it like verbally on stream and then like people say it. It's, you know, that's kind of lame. So you know, it provides the intrigue. Exactly. So I'm gonna start drinking uh what's his ass is alcohol and uh more day drinking. How, how <laughs> dare you steal the alcohol? <laughs> I'm joking. Where are you, bread? I'll just I'll just at you. Ooh. Okay. Alright, I sent it over. Okay. Uh, do you want us to read it out loud, or is this for personal consumption? Uh, just so that you know. Okay. okay. Personal Talk consumption? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I, I walk up to this group. Uh, Alexander and Jack stay back by the gate. Um, what What is his name again? Huh? Uh, the, uh, the, the chief. Uh, his name yeah. is Wolfberg. Wolfberg. All right, so I, I, I kind of step up to the group. I'm like, hey, Wolfberg, uh, uh, I need a little uh, little aside with you for just a minute. Mm, very well. Uh, um, just you and me, if you get my drift. Mm. Just you, me, and my guards. Um, Let's go aside. Well, if you trust them, I guess... I trust them. That's not very smart. But okay. Uh, listen. Um, Look, I trust them more than I trust you. That's fair. Listen, uh, you never let us know where your niece is. Well, that's because I don't exactly know where she is right now. She's somewhere around the town. She certainly hasn't had enough time to leave yet, uh, especially especially considering how far away the next settlement is, with how far away the next settlement is within our clan. And she would be headed that way, you think? Well, no doubt she is going to. Uh, no doubt she is going to try to escape from this town and build up a resistance in the countryside. So I need her dealt with before that can happen. I see. Okay. And uh, which direction is that in? Uh, the countryside? What, 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 wherever this settlement is where she might go. Uh, that would be to the southeast. Okay. All I needed to know. Um, also, uh, who are these guys you're hanging out with? I don't remember them from earlier. Uh, that's because they're new here. They seem to, ha they seem to have come from. Uh, they seem to have come from the High Court of Belfour. <laughs> Who did you guys piss off? 
Well, that's the thing. Um, they um, they say that there seems to um, they say that the leadership there seems to have a similar problem that we've had here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, that's not my business. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get back to you when that little job is done. Very well. Uh, and I walk back towards uh, Jack and Alexander. I take the opportunity to look for gnomes. <laughs> you do not see any gnomes here. <laughs> well, uh, uh, so, since I, uh, he's walking uh, calmly towards us, I assume that I don't have to enact the meme that I posted in uh, in the in the server. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, and the worst part is I can't even share that <laughs> not because of its content but because of where you posted it <laughs> like if I try to share that it just literally shares everything on discord forever Wait, can't you I can't copy prop paste um, no what am I going to copy paste it to can you, I don't uh, know Click the on the things. image and make it big, and then do the uh, thing. So, so anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> All right, let me let me try it now. Let me try it now. Let me see. Sorry, right, if I have to, I can always. Uh, and what is this nonsense we're yeah. laughing about? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll we'll skip it for now. There it is. <laughs> 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 I right, took now, a wrong cool. time to walk away from the, 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 the my my phone. No, that was the perfect time to walk away from your phone. So okay, so I was making myself top ramen. The best ramen. I have yes, some banana bread top on ramen. the way. It is the best. Was, uh, okay. was, was this banana bread created by the elves? Uh, yes, I would never let any gnomes near it. <laughs> wow, so we've got two races in this group. Yeah, one who doesn't like elves and the other one doesn't like gnomes. Oh, boy. All right, so uh, I get back over to Alexander and Jack. Like, uh, yeah, this guy says she's probably headed southeast. Uh, he said southeast, right? Uh, yes. Okay. She's probably, had, she's probably headed southeast towards another settlement to build up some kind of weird resistance. So that's the direction we got to head, and we got to move quick so that we can make sure we can catch up to her before she gets out of town, or at least well, too far out of town. I don't know about Jack over here, but I can move quick. Um, I'm other, other than the uh, hundred uh, shot glasses of whiskey I'm carrying. I'm, I'm pretty quick. <laughs> At least you don't the introduction of the two new characters was ill advised. Ah! At least you're uh, you don't clink anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> Guys, so where are the new, I said, where are the two new characters? I just introduced point? them. Yeah, but where did they like go? Did they just like stand there and stay? Yeah, you guys just walked away from us. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, you two were silent. You're just like, oh, okay. The character wouldn't have anything to say. <laughs> I I glance back over my shoulder at both of them, and I just see them staring at me like, you know, lost puppy dogs. <laughs> uh, what do you two want? Quit staring. Oh, say hi. <laughs> the DM is bad at introducing new characters <laughs> at a short notice. It doesn't help that we're bad at introducing ourselves either. It's it's, it's bad. This, we're all bad here. I, I just have to say. <laughs> Stop staring. It's creepy. <laughs> you see my character. I uh, take off my hand. <laughs> my character just looks stare. quickly into, the, into the, his holy book. <laughs> Um, well, I'm actively searching for gnomes in the town square where we're standing. That's what I'm staring. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to up. inspect you for gnomeness. 
So we went from one screaming about heretics to another screaming about gnomes. <laughs> Someone's at getting pitched off a cliff, that's all I'm saying. I might just do it least, to myself. At least we can accurately kill gnomes and nobody care. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, I, I would care. I'd be very, very happy we're about not that. Gonna, we're not going to find some gnome nobles in this fucking <laughs> land. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the don't give him any more ideas. Yeah, the, the, the odds of us encountering gnome noblemen just went up like. I mean, have you heard? I mean, have you heard of the clan of Gnome Depot? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a thing. It's great. <laughs> have you heard about loans? Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Shut up. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, so I'm like, all right, uh, bookworm. What do you and... want? Yeah, bookworm, nomophobic. What are you doing? Um, well, we we came down from our normal uh, hunt, hunting grounds, and we're we're here. Uh, well, I'm here looking for gnomes. I don't know what the other guy's doing here. I don't like the way you talk. Can you, you talk can travel? Normal? Shut up. Wait, who's shutting up? I'm telling Alexander to shut up because he's oh, a okay. racist and tends to shoot off at the mouth. <laughs> this is like half of what we do most most sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he he owes me his entire like livelihood right now too from a single forgery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. He got like a. Natural twenty on a forgery roll. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, I so still own like, that right. store. That's my no, store it, now. Well, fine. Uh, Since you guys are so keen on knowing what we're doing, we came down from from the the clans of Belfort, and we 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 were sent to see the political activity down in this area. Fantastic, because we're just about to change it. The entire landscape of the politics of this area in about one fell swoop. But you're going to both have to come with us to do that because I don't trust you to leave you behind. I'm happy to help however I can. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This is the voice I'm doing. Fuck off. <laughs> oh no. What was that sound? Is that him talking? Yeah, what's the problem? Huh? <laughs> Did your balls drop? <laughs> uh, what balls? We've got Nikki oh, Bell. I remember. <laughs> I remember the concept. It's <laughs> <laughs> all staying. Everything so far is staying. I'm cutting nothing. Okay, man. I do we really want this guy to follow us around oh. and talk like that? <laughs> Let's all have you know I'm a great negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> Please uh, take me with you. <laughs> uh, I, Please. I have an idea. I have a fantastic idea. Okay, Nightbeers. Let's negotiate. A a Alexander, here. Alexander, this is what's going to happen. Ready? You, you want to prove yourself, right? You're, you and Alessi here are going to stay behind with How Jack. How the fuck did you know my name, asshat? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have to stay with me? It's on your what did I do? Of course. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, the guy mentioned it, or, or I overheard it. doesn't matter. I know your name. Shut up. You see my character. You three are going to stay take off his name tag. <laughs> <laughs> it puts on foam helmet. <laughs> <laughs> you three are gonna stay here, and this is what I need you to do. You're gonna wait till nightfall, and then you're gonna assassinate this Wolfberg or whatever the hell his name is. Now, Don't listen, motherfucker, I'm not job. assassinating shit. You're gonna have to give a better reason than that. Yes. Uh, it's either that or uh, I'm interested uh, in changing the politics, yeah, but you need to <laughs> tell me where they're going. Well, do me a favor. Show yourself to Alessi for just a minute. 
we're standing next to each other. How can I sh show myself? Not you, no, little D. That's what I call my subjugated demon. Hey, oh, what's up? So what I am I doing here? Like helicopter to show yourself. <laughs> no. What do you need to do, boss? Yeah. Just, just pop up in front of Alessi for just a minute. Let him take a look. I'm going to go. It's going to be funny. Scare okay. the piss out of him. Just give me a second. I got to put on my face. What are we doing? Hey, what the fuck is that thing? Going. Kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't right. even loaded it. <laughs> oh. Please okay, get me away from him. this abomination you know, in front of you. On your... Hey! You need to work on your presentation a little bit better. Good morning. Just saying. Okay. Right, I'm going to stop sharing now. Good morning. You, to see, you. My, you see my character uh, pull out his uh, holy symbol that's uh, around his neck, and he starts uh, uh, doing the equivalent of get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> that will um, work. Can I roll <laughs> intelligence to an analyze it? Uh, you wouldn't okay. see it. You wouldn't see it. Uh, wouldn't it only just be Alessi that's seen it? Oh, that's true. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll roll knowledge religion. Oh, well, I thought I could see it. That's why. Um, I... uh, I'll just act confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you don't Alessi even see it. Yeah. Yeah. Holy you shit. Didn't see anything. Jesus Christ. Uh, I got a natural two. I rolled a six total. <laughs> okay. So, um, from what, as far as you're concerned, um, as far as you're concerned, um, clearly this is just, uh, you know, um, this is a, this is a normal demon. And, uh, but, uh, for some reason, uh, no one else can see it and you can't really touch it. Now, uh, thank you very much, little D. Why don't you go boil some milk or scare up some children or something? Ah, children are so hard to fool. No, oh, I don't care who you go fool. I don't care. <laughs> just, just be nearby when I need Ask you again. Ask too many questions. That's fine. Just go. I don't care what you do. Go scare somebody. Just make sure you're around when I need you again. Ah, okay, fine. All right. Now, Alessi. Uh, I don't know what you just tried to say, Alexander. You broke up completely. <gasps> and he dropped. <laughs> There's number one. Whoops! <laughs> keeping a running tally of these. Now my <laughs> character would know this, but so what is Alessi's half blood? Like he's half elf, half what? Yes. Thank you. Uh, he's half elf, half gnome. Are you serious? That wasn't. <laughs> I'm completely serious. Hello. No, no, no. Hello. Sorry. Hello. No, no. Sorry. Not no half elf, half halfling. There we go. What the heck happened there? What the no, hell died. happened? You're half hobbit. I died. I'm okay. Half well, I'm. I, <laughs> does that mean I'm a? Uh, oh my negative. god! You put him a counter. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> so, so you're a halfling. Can half we elf, half halfling. Yes. <laughs> Okay. okay. So, uh, half, half right, so, so you're a quarter halfling. I'm a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> quarter. Not how fractions work. <laughs> <laughs> you said half halfling. So. <laughs> no, we've, been no. going, we've been going for half an hour and we haven't left that, that area yet. <laughs> oh wait, I don't know if that's copyright. What uh, is? What's I our said copyrighted? I'm, I'm, saying I'm, copyrighted. No, it's not copyrighted. Nah. Nah. Okay. So I'm half elf, half halfling. You are a short, skinny sob. You can say that again. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So now Alessi, you see, that there, that was little D. So you're a virgin. Gotcha. Little, little, little Define D's virgin. You haven't had it since it had you. Technically speaking. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so that that that's my little buddy. That that that's little D. He kind of has to do what I tell him. That's why you're going to stay here. Because I said so. Uh, can I roll? Can you want me uh, insight. 
Is he trying to intimidate uh, me? Is that what's happening? I, I should like be rolling intimidation. intimidation. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm going to roll... Oh, fuck. Okay. Let me get my dice roller out. What was I, um, What should I have rolled? I, I rolled I insight. Well, he decides how he feels about it. I uh, quickly say thank you, like mouth thank you at uh, Kaimenos. <laughs> right, I, well, uh, I was told. I rolled... Sorry? I, said, yeah, I rolled a 17 for intimidation. Oh, I rolled a 10 in insight. I don't so. think splitting up is a per good idea. So you see I my character start like splitting. trembling slightly, and he just nods and doesn't say anything and stays put. Finally, somebody who knows better. <sighs> I don't think splitting up is a good idea. And, and I what think do you splitting propose? the party is a great idea. Uh, I propose party they, walk, a great they idea. walk. Uh, Wait, uh, are you saying that as us. DM or as well, we're talking? Well, I'll be ambiguous. The person <laughs> you're setting us up to detonate here has twelve bodyguards uh, surrounding him at all times. Well, listen up. This is what I said after dark. Wait till he goes to bed. Sneak in. Off him. Do I look do like the right sneaky now. type? Oh, oh that's true. Like I should I'm just do this on my own, type. couldn't I? Uh, never mind. I got an idea then. I'm, I'm just. We're going to do a, wanna, a minor you want split to up. Succeed? Yeah. You want us to succeed, or do you want us to fail? Yeah, well, uh, it, it never succeeds, like, at all. That's kind of our MO. We never get it right the first time. You know, uh, who got it right the first time? He's dead no. now. <laughs> all right, um... Uh, are you telling me you just want to come along? Are you lonely? No, I just don't want to die facing 12 armed I didn't party tell you. Guards. Listen, listen, listen. Alexander, I throw my shoulder over him, over his, my arm over his shoulder and walk him away a little bit. I'm like, listen, I, I, I get that, that you're about as bright as a ha sack of hammers here. I understand. It's all good. You're you're a blacksmith. That's kind of your thing. Oh, that's okay. I, uh, you're not going to get a complaint out of me. Yes, your, your skull is as thick as your anvil. We get it. That's okay. So listen. I used my hand. I used my head as a hammer once. <laughs> <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> Alexander's backstory in one sentence. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying you have to try to kill all 12 or do it even right now. I was saying, wait until nightfall. Wait till he goes to bed. Then sneak into his room. Cut his throat. So I'm, I'm eavesdropping on this conversation, and I'm still wondering. Hey, Weasley boy. Hey, hey, hey. We still Weasley haven't been boy. told how it benefits us to kill this guy. Weasley it's boy, benefit. are you good with knives? I'm good with arrows. Not you. The weasel one. The squeaky voice. Sounds like a weasel. Oh. I don't... I know how to use a knife. You see a yeah, little... Listen, we can't, listen, listen, we can't, we can't rely on... Uh, Alexander, we can't rely on him for using a knife. All he can do is cut kneecaps. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> if you can go for the junk <laughs> with a step you see, Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! You see, Alessi just cringe like very, very hard. Uh, let me guess. I, I look back and we, let me guess. Are you a eunuch? Uh have you heard of the term castrato? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that explains everything. Your that's voice. A, that's a cursed everything. image. <laughs> <laughs> so my 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 icon is the last uh, living uh, Castrato. He's he was in Italy. 
Oh, no, no, not my icon, like religious icon, like my icon on Streamlabs. Right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. wondering about that one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did, who posted the the Mickey on on the the chat? That, that, that would be me. <laughs> you mean <Yeah>. this one? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Copyright. Nah, I, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna I, edit I it out later it anyway. But yeah, it, and it was an image, so it's not like it was scanning for images. It scans for some. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of smart. It's not really smart. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah, it's it's not Terminator smart yet. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm like, all right. So what you're basically telling me is I have to drag all four of you along with me to off one woman, then drag all four of you back with me to off one guy. Yes. <laughs> Uh, he's squeaky. What's are up? You any good at, are you any good at sneaking? Uh, I'm good at singing. Uh, he he does not have stealth as a skill. I'm I'm going to I'm going to just end myself. Do, do, <laughs> I, I am slightly. I, 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 I good wonder if stealth. bards have a song to help them uh, uh, go stealthy, like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. New, plan. <laughs> New plan. Let's just all go and we're going to go try to find this this woman because uh, reasons. I, I, I stop you before leaving. I say, I am good at sneaking. He's good at singing. Okay, so then this is what we need to do right now. You're good at singing. You're, you're good at sneaking. I'm good at sneaking. Um... Helicopter boy down there. He makes he's, more sense. He's supposed to be good at sneaking, but I don't know if he actually is. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go try and find this woman, and we're gonna scout out what where she is. If it's in a place where we can hide from cover and sniper with some arrows, great. If not, now that's what I'm good at. If not, I well, load we'll my have crossbow. to wait till she goes to sleep and tie her up, and we'll. We'll see if she's a witch and if she can float or not. Deal. We're tossing her in the river. Deal. <laughs> okay. All right. So then we uh, we head southeast, I guess, looking for this woman. <clears throat> okay. The woman we've so, only ever met once and hates our guts. <laughs> yeah. So currently, you see um, you see a group of about six chieftains. And uh, her specifically, um, they're sitting around a campfire, and they seem to be discussing something very conspiratorially. And it's um, and it's on a hilltop uh, on the outskirts of the town. Okay, so they have the high ground. Yes. Fuck. We are fucked. Shit. Shit. That's not gonna work. Um, what is like around? Do they look like they're camping there, or are they just there for a little while? It looks like they're camping there. Okay. So How do you like our options now? Do they have somebody on watch, or are they just? Yeah, is there like a any tree cover or anything like that nearby? Um. Uh, not on the hill. <laughs> just near, just nearby. Oh, oh, no. Uh yes. Oh. Okay. There's, oh. a, there's oh. definitely tree. There's definitely tree cover. Um, on the outskirts of town, though you would know that like. Because of monster infestations, they try to keep the woods um, pretty uh, a pretty safe distance away from any settlements. Okay, we're gonna. Um, all right, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, have they seen us? By the way, do they wait, know we're there? He hasn't answered if they have somebody on watch. Oh, um, they don't seem to. Okay. Okay. Uh, have they seen us? Uh, doesn't seem like they would be able to because it's uh, it's dark out. And they're all around a campfire. Okay, so their so dark is going to be pretty low. Okay. So this is what we're going to do then. Just everybody drop down low. We're going to just kind of like hang here till we know they're asleep. I continue to stand straight up. like I, I take the shaft of my scythe and actually smash it across the back of his knees. <laughs> I fall to my knees. <laughs> 
<laughs> Take one point of psychic damage, Alexander, as <laughs> you are embarrassed. <laughs> you can, are you serious? No. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, I guess we will just kind of hang into that general area where they can't really see us. Um, and uh, all right, so I'm good at sneaking. Uh, Aranis, you said you're good at sneaking. Let me look at my. Let me look uh, at my character sheet real quick. Let me, let me bring this up. Yes. Um, religion. It's gonna be stealth. Stealth. Yeah. Uh, uh, plus. Two. Oh modifier. God! Oh, oh no! <laughs> my my innate bonus is higher than his. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I I have a I have a, a I have a plus six to my stealth. Yeah, just off the bat. <laughs> look, look! I can justify myself here. I was trying to yeah. get away from the castrado. I, I, I mean, I, I was could, stuck with I could him. cause a distraction. The, the no, elders no, no. of the of the elven clans made me travel with him. I didn't have a choice. Yeah. Right, so, uh, so, 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 Aranis, uh, the reason, uh, the reason you were uh, you were told uh, why that you two would be accompanying each other on the same mission was to quote unquote. Um, deal with certain t- character issues that you had. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we use the pit squeak over here as a distraction? No, no, I don't that, want them to even know. No, I don't want them to even know that we were ever here. I'm I want this saying, to be on the can, team. With that voice, he can make a one hell of a distraction. Yes, I see yes, but then voice. everyone will know we were there when this woman comes up missing, and they're going to come straight to us wondering what happened. And I'm oh, not I... going to be the next Ezekiel. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Ezekiel just committed suicide. <laughs> Ezekiel was. Uh... <laughs> he killed himself. Didn't you know that? I don't care. I yeah, am in no he, way uh, he cut his own head depressed. off. I'm not depressed and I'm not suicidal. So we're not doing that. I need one person who's exceptionally good you, at sneaking <laughs> to come with me to do this. The rest of you are going to stay here and watch our backs. I'm shit at sneaking. What is your what's your inherent bonus to sneak, Alexander? Um, I think it is actually pretty high. Let me look. <laughs> yeah, he just okay. rolls like trash. <laughs> oh, I do. I do roll like trash. So I have plus two. You my said dexterity you... is three, and my stealth is three. I mean, my stealth is three. Do you have a prof- do you is your on your character sheet is is it a do you do you add your proficiency bonus because of your class or no? I don't think so. Not not with what? fighter. Oh no, you don't add your proficiency bonus. No, oh, I do. Congrats. So it's three. <laughs> Arani, what is your what is your class? Uh, I am a. What was I? Uh, I have it written down somewhere. I promise. I am a cleric. Okay, you also do not add your proficiency bonus. So, actually, out of all of us here, I have the highest stealth. Not even joking. Oh, God. I have to thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I will guard. S- s- sing a song of stealth. I will stealth. guard our location. Sing a song of stealth. Does Alessi have... Ele- have- <laughs> Does Alessi have ele- have uh, have elegant hair like on top of his foot pro. on top of his feet instead of scraggly hair? Elegant hair. <laughs> Wait, it's blonde. You're an elf. It's you're half, blonde. Half elf. Half blink. Oh my lord. That's amazing. <laughs> 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 He's thinking about killing himself. <laughs> that's, I'm, that's what I'm naming. That's what I'm naming this this episode. What is well, Ezekiel didn't kill himself. <laughs> I just read that in chat. I just read that in chat. <laughs> okay, all right. So so listen. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Uh we wait until everybody's asleep. Um we so meaning DM. 
uh, at literally, literally all of us. We just stay out of down here, out of sight, away from them, so we can tell they're all asleep. I'm pointing my loaded assault crossbow at the them and making sure nobody comes. So, Dean, <laughs> how far how far away are we? Um, you guys are about um 180 feet away. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, why? What have you got? Well, I was. If anyone was wounded, I have Song of Rest at level two. We okay. should be all at good health. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll okay. just sit around with my longbow ready in case anything happens. Uh, and Jack, <laughs> you just sit here and drink. I'm on it, Captain. Assault longbow. Assault longbow. <laughs> All no, right. it's a short barrel oh. longbow. Oh. A short barrel longbow. <laughs> <laughs> double, double barrel assault. <laughs> assault a- 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 no, it's, it's a ghost bow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it has. Uh, it takes clipazine Glock mags. <laughs> clipazine <laughs> block Glock mags. Anyway, all right. Uh, so Is that DM, double uh, stacked or triple stacked? <laughs> when do they fall asleep, DM? Uh, they'll fall asleep in an hour. Okay, so we just wait for that hour until they're, um, so they're all asleep. Yep. Okay. Um, now here's my other question though. Did we see like are, they have tents? Or are they just all sleeping in the open? Um, they're sleeping in their tents. Okay, they do have tents. Did we see which tag? Did... Yeah. So they're in their tents. Do we? Did we see which tent she went into? Uh, yeah, it's the, um, yeah, so, um, so basically there are six, um, chieftains, and then there's her, so there's, um, so they each have a tent that surrounds her tent in the middle. All right. Um. The tents are adjacent to the bonfire that they were all around, but, uh, that has been, um, put down to a low. Okay. No, so are, are we, we trying to capture this woman or just kill her? I don't know uh, what you we, guys are trying to do. Right, we're, we're, we, well, this is, this is what Nobody we gotta, knows we gotta, what we're trying to do. I don't think even... We gotta make sure she gets out of here without... We can get out of there without pretty much leaving a trace. Okay, but, do you, any of you have fat and some twine? What are you I, doing? I pull out my rope. Uh, okay, I actually, we got... Yes. <laughs> I, have, I have a bow and an arrow. And if we have fat and twine and a way to make fire, I can make fire arrows and shoot at it. <laughs> shoot we it don't. At the no. This sounds like a really terrible idea. We're trying not to be seen or known. No, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty what? I think it's a pretty solid plan. Why am I only uh, Why is the only person that actually knows what the hell is going on? The friggin' eunuch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right. So this is what we know. Which one she went into? You said it's the one. Basically, the farthest one away from us. No, it's so oh, no. she's in the tent in the center. Each of the other guys is in a tent that surrounds her tent. Okay, I I'm will leaning up right. against the tree, right. finger Unless gunning it, everybody. Bring, bring your rope. Um, if we got something, we can jam in our mouth. Like I mean, gag. I didn't lose everything. A <laughs> gag, you ass. <laughs> 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 hey, we got an hour this time. That's that's uh, that's a record for us. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if I'm going to be the main source of edits, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> All right. I'm like uh, anybody got like a rag? Hey, hey you know what? I got Jack. Uh, give me give me a couple of the rags that you used to use to wrap around your uh, liquor bottles. All right. Um, I've also got a couple of, like Molotov like rags for the Molotovs as well. No, no, no. I just need a couple of the wraps. We don't want to waste any of the Molotovs. Those are handy. All right. Hey, all right I, so I've got those. Unless he's got his rope. So, all right. We, uh, we're we going to head up and try and uh, sneak to her, uh, into her oh, tent. Before we start sneaking, I, uh, I do whatever would be the equivalent of the sign of the cross over you. And I say, In nomine patri et fili et spiritus sancti. You now have bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you 
you can add a 1d6 to any uh, attack or skill roll within the next 10 minutes. Okay. Well, I don't think it's going to take us 10 minutes to cross 180 feet. So, uh, sure. 180? Okay, I can't use my you, spell. You, you haven't uh, played with us that much, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, that's what we're doing, DM. We're, we're sneaking up towards the uh, up towards the tents. I think we both okay. will sneak now. Watching Shields and Shenanigans. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and give it and share it on all of your social media. And if you really want us to 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 see more of the show, make sure to comment and subscribe and hit the bell to so that you're notified whenever a new episode comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. So who's sneaking up? Uh, apparently, it's me and Alessi. Okay. So make your stealthy rolls. Uh, I got nineteen. Okay. I have a ten. Oh. Okay. So what's the average of those? Uh, uh, essentially fifteen. Yeah. Do we round up or round down? Um, we're gonna round up. Fifteen. Maybe fifteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you um so you start sneaking into camp and uh the two of you are uh, going through things um and it's going pretty well until um until let's see your halfling foot um steps on a uh uh steps on a um uh on a rusty nail uh, please make a constitution saving throw. Uh, to not scream. <clears throat> Hooray. I uh, I rolled a uh, I rolled a ten. Okay, so uh, you start yelling. <laughs> oh no. Son of a motherfucking <laughs> goddamn <it>, fucking <laughs> <laughs> How many of these guys are there? <laughs> uh, six. There are six of them. So uh one of the yeah, so one of the, the chieftains like peers out of his uh pe peers um peers out and sees this sees this uh, halfling elf thing and he's like, What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? I uh, I just reach back with everything I've got and just Overhand cold cock him right in the bridge of the nose. Try to knock him out. Okay. Oh, make an attack roll. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no, not that. While they're doing that, can I get my bow and arrow ready to fire? I already yeah, had my I already had my crossbows uh, ready. Why would unhanded. you know about this? What what's uh unhanded? What is that? Uh, that's un strength. Unarmed. This is strength? Okay, and then it's an eighteen. Okay, yeah, that's, that's gonna happen. Yeah, that beats my AC. Mm -hmm. I'm not hitting you. I'm hitting uh, the guy that poked his head out. Right oh, in the bridge of okay. The north. Never mind. Yeah. So that would be... <sighs> what is that? A... 1D what? Unarmed. That's okay. So uh, an unarmed attack is 1 plus your strength and damage. 
Pedro, do I take any... Oh, so uh, that's 13 damage, then. No, no, one plus your strength modifier. Oh, that's it? Yes. That's only two. Yeah, you, you deal two damage. Uh, he, he's a little pissed off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, the the How am I this, this much of a pansy ass? You're a rogue. You're level one. Two. Level two. Level two. <laughs> so unarmed fighting is notoriously, like, very trash? heavily... Tra- yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty much trash unless you're a monk. It always has been, even from uh, first edition. Yeah, just yeah. let me g- grab the stat block real quick. Uh, Pedro, Pops. do I take any actual damage from stepping on a nail? No, just pri- just damage to your pride. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> there might be uh, some um, demon <clears throat> so he's, he, plan he, ruining. He, he pulls out his, his spear and he's like, get the hell out of here. And he's going to do an attack on you, Kamenos. Okay. Like, Get out of our camp. Do we, do we roll initiative at any point? Uh, yes. Does everybody else know what's going on? Can we see what's going uh, on from, from our little... It's dark and you're 200 feet away. Probably not. Okay. So, I'm going to be finger gunning everybody. <laughs> Wait, no one can see oh, shit, you figure going. Can't use that. Never mind. I was gonna say it should have been a sneak attack because he didn't know it was coming. But um, the the problem is you're using a a strength weapon that wasn't finesse. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we're rolling initiative. Just right after he rolls his attack roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Then won't bother yet. Go ahead. Try. And... Yeah, I'm just. Oh, sorry. I just tried trying to, Pedro. Trying to navigate. Uh, I'm I'm sure a nine won't hit you. No, it misses. Boys, we have intruders. Shit. Yep. All right, roll initiative. I got a fourteen. I gotta actually roll that now. Sorry. <clears throat> Come on, Google. Pay attention. I said roll. Okay, they got an Ooh. eleven. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I got a dirty 20 and I am nice. willing to show my screen. That is required. <laughs> okay. Considering, considering what we've been, you know, worried about before. Okay. And what with dev just constantly getting the, the high twenties whenever he needs them. Yep. There you go. I was have an 18 he, he, and I have a plus two on my initiative. Was okay. he faking rolls? Probably. Mm. Stop. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So, yeah. So, I got a dirty 20 on that then. All right. Yeah. So, are we still only dealing with this one guy? Well, um, the five others Not are coming out of the tents. Not for long. <clears throat> they haven't cut their turn hasn't come up yet, so. All right. Um, so I assume I'm going first. Uh, yep. Okay. Um. Okay. I am going to uh, bring my scythe around, and I'm just going to bring it right down on his head. Just try and okay. just decapitate him in one shot. That nice. was. Let me make sure I've got it. There it is. Okay. Um. So I got to roll for my attack here. Plus three to it. Ooh, does a 17 hit? Um, yeah, that'll hit. Okay, because uh, thankfully I get a plus three. Otherwise, that wouldn't have been... Probably wouldn't have hit at a 14. Uh, all right, so that's uh, 1d12 plus one. For 12 damage total. Again, willing to share my screen. If anybody okay. does. Yeah, so you're definitely going to chop the head off. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. boy. Coming around with it, that I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not fucking with this anymore. And I whoosh, bring it down and just off with the old bean. Just blood, viscera everywhere. Yeah. And I just so, get like, like 
Like my blood eyes. Is, blood is yeah, blood is uh smearing all over the tent. Yep. So and Alessi he was wearing eyes. Alessi was wearing uh white robes. So well, if you were okay. behind me, though, I think you'd be fine. Cause... Yeah, come on. This this isn't this isn't like Dragon Age, where <laughs> just the second you stab someone, just a fountain of blood explodes everywhere. Yeah, this yeah this isn't this isn't the first this isn't the first Evil Dead movie where that guy was getting drugged down into the basement. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I do that and just I kind of turn my head over my shoulder at Alessi. He sees my eyes flare silver, like glow silver real bright for a second with a big toothy, you know, evil grin on my face. And then I actually, because I, I've moved to uh, level two, I now have the ability uh, uh, bonus action. I'm going to hide. Nice. All right. Give me your stealth check. Uh, 14. Ugh, that was a terrible roll. Yep. Considering all the bonuses I get. Well, um, there, well, there is a bit of a fire, so the light is pretty decent. And also yep. you're kind of just going behind a tent <laughs> because you're, you're kind of just, you're kind of just, uh, your, your options to hide are pretty limited because this is a grassy hilltop. Mm-hmm. You could say it's okay. like a grassy knoll. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's spring now, so like this would probably usually be a, a crop field. Um, they haven't started planting yet. Can I, I also? Dive. Oh, go ahead. go ahead. Can I also attempt to hide? Um, it ha it's not your turn on initiative yet. I think I rolled higher in initiative than you did. Well, what and what did you roll? I rolled a 14. No. Oh, I got okay, a never mind. 20. Yeah, yeah, I got a oh, 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 I missed that. Never mind. Go ahead. No big. All right, so who has the next highest initiative after the dirty 20? Wait, so we were the only well, two to roll initiative move. and the yeah. guy. We didn't roll. Uh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, no, no, you're you're going uh, next, Alyssi. Okay, so are we, are we still in combat? Yes. There's five other guys that have exited the tent. They're tents with weapons. I see. Okay. I don't know. I, do I get like disadvantage to try to roll stealth in combat or something like that? I don't know how that works. Um, I don't think so. I don't want to say I don't. Yeah, I don't think there's any uh, disadvantages to to stealth in combat. I, th believe me, I've played as a as a rogue before. And as assassin, and that's like my favorite thing ever. You go right. into cover, hide, and then you pop out, sneak attack, which I could have gotten on this guy to almost if I had wanted to, but I didn't. You okay. decided to pop him in the mouth. Yeah. The, the, only, the only major problems that tend to um, stop, prevent hiding like that as much is just circumstance and what your environment is. Okay. Well, I'm going to roll uh, stealth. I got an 11. <laughs> okay. I don't think either one of us are hiding very well. <laughs> you, 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 you step to hide, the side hide, and you crouch hide. down, and then you cover your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> if, they, if you can't see them, they can't see you. This is very accurate. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so now are you rolling for them? <clears throat> Let me go back to the top of the order. Um, it's yeah, so 11 is their initiative, so it's now their turn. So, we're gonna make some perception checks to see if they can find you guys. Fuck, <clears throat> they don't have to try very hard with, with any luck, their eyes will be closed too. <laughs> is there, is, oh, I can't see anything. Is there like I'm a, invisible? Uh, I know that we I'm entered the tent. Invisible. I know that we entered a tent from like a specific entrance. Is there like a back entrance? No, you, have, that I... you haven't entered any no. of the tents. Oh, we're just out in the open. Yeah, you were right outside the circle of tents, and you, like, uh... you stepped on a rusty nail, and then one guy peered out of the tent. Hooray! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Do you do group initiative, or a uh, group perception, or individual perception? It's individual. Uh, individual. Okay. 
They're their own people. They're each a chief of a tribe. Of course oh, yeah, they would I'm have their own roles. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so um, the highest one was a 14. Uh, that ties with me. Okay. So ties go to the defender. Does that also count in skill rolls? Or... Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, yes, uh, however, uh, they do see you. Okay. So, um, so uh, just so you know, uh, they have this ability called pack tactics. Oh Sweet. shit! So they're oh, uh, so shit. about uh, so uh, five of them <laughs> surround you because uh, they they assume that you were the one who uh, beheaded the who beheaded this man. Okay. Um, they pull out their spears. As I'm quite aware of where they are, I'm going to uh, cast Thunderwave. And I'm going to say... not your turn. Oh, it's, it's not. My, okay, sorry. Well, mm. unless Thunder Wave's a reaction. It is not a reaction, it's a spell. Okay, sorry. I Do you have any sure. reactions? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Oh, shit. Okay. So, Alessi, how do you feel about rolling a new character? <laughs> <laughs> it might actually happen. It's not off the table that your character is going to be re-rolled, too. Hey, they don't know where I am. They don't even know I'm there yet. Um... Okay. And you know what? Right. what we you got okay, I got three for the first attack. Oh, oh yeah, that hits very uh very easily. Seventeen for the second guy. That also hits. Uh fifteen for the third guy. That also hits. Twenty three oh natural twenty for the fourth guy. Oh, oh god. god. Yeah, he's and dead. eighteen for the fifth guy. God damn. This is cool. This is uh, this is a thing. It's a learning curve. It's all good. Hey, so you get you three just, death rolls. I get oh, hey. three death saving throws. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, you so you're like good. I'm I'm the total with the best sneaker, and now you're dead. <laughs> I I never said I was the best sneaker. I well, said look, out of guys, anyone here but, besides the actual rogue. Look, guys. There is an inherent. <laughs> there, look, guys. There's an inherent risk to um to sneaking ahead of the rest of the party. You mean you mean party separation is a bad idea, and thus is why I decided I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> well, this is this is happening. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I would just total up all the damage all together on him in one fell swoop. Oh, yeah. okay. I'll reset then. So that's going to be two. Plus, okay. So, doesn't it? If you go like over your maximum HP, you kind of perma die. No, you gotta you gotta but, double. It's the uh, double okay, your so life altogether. Damage. You take thirty five damage. Holy oh. shit! <laughs> Um, well, that double rule does come into effect. How does that work? I think that just means you uh, start out with one failed death save throw. I Thought. see. Okay. Yeah. I don't know so how you're already are... one of the negative. Yeah, so they, they just surround you and just all start stabbing you with spears in different directions <laughs> until you pass out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I notice uh, the screams? Yes. I was going to say, I would think that you guys would notice that. <laughs> so right, so we, uh, back to the top of the order this, here. Are we uh, doing yes, this, back to the top of the order. Uh, okay. the, the rest of you can try to enter, uh, can roll your initiatives if you want. What's the initiative roll again? D20. Plus your initiative. Come on, come on. D20 yeah. plus what? Your dex modifier. Okay, well. Uh, one sec. Need to bring up my stat sheet. I, I have a grand total of 14 for initiative. Uh, you tie with Alessi, but I think Alessi has a I, higher dex modifier, so he would go before you. So uh, Maybe uh, not. I've got a dex modifier of uh, plus three. My dex is plus two. I, I, oh, I, I got right. a... I'm wrong. I Ooh, got an 8. 30, 21. <laughs> Ooh, wow. So I heard Ooh, Alessi screams. 
And at first I was concerned, but then I realized he was dying, so I stopped caring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Holy crap. All right. Um, well, I mean, I guess that means Alexander could... It technically goes before me, so what, are you going to run towards them now? Because you're, a hundred, what, 180 feet away? So you're way outside your ability to, unless you're going to dash, you can get to, what, 60, so you'd still be 120 feet away. Alexander? Awkward silence. <laughs> I think I'm about to update the counter. Um, True I've, grave. I've got a speed of a 30, so it would take me a couple rounds to get there, it sounds like. Mm-hmm. Um, I, do I have expeditious? No. You guys couldn't hear me? There no. we go. I think you muted yourself Hello? by accident. Hello? You're, yeah. you're back well, now. You're back I, now. I, I almost know. said to update the banner. I was, I was, on, I was literally taking a screenshot of my 20, my 20, my, uh, D roller. Yeah. I'm going to run my maximum to, to the battle. Okay. So you're still 120 feet away, right? Yeah, well, isn't my maximum like 60? Yeah. So we had 60. So, what's the action order? It's uh, Alexander, Kaimanos, then me. Then. Yep. Yeah, Jack, I think. Yeah. Oh, and then. Uh, before you. Jack or after Jack? What was your roll? Um, I, got, I got a 14. Yes, yeah, so Jack goes before you. And yes. actually, Jack, then Alessi, then you. You're last in the order. You're even after the the uh, <laughs> the guys up person. there. That's how little <laughs> I care what it's like. <laughs> nice. Oh lord. Um, lord. Right. So you did that. So I guess it's uh, my turn then. <clears throat> so yep. I'm going to uh, pop up, and I'm going to use. Uh, sneak attack on one of the uh, one of the guys um, with my. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my uh, crossbow. Uh, that way, I can keep a distance, a little bit of a distance away from them. So let's see. For that, is... no, no, not a d, not a d12. Uh, I'm not going to take that. That's a nat 20. I'm not going to do that. I, I bumped a d12 to start, so it probably threw off the, the thing. I'm going to move to it. I'm going to do it again. Okay, that's a little bit more likely. That's a 15. DM? Oh, sorry, what were you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, I I'm sorry, hit... Hunter was DMing me. Oh yeah, I uh, I accidentally hit the D12 <clears throat> when I rolled instead of that, so I cleared it and hit the D20 and immediately got a natural 20. I'm like, I think I probably just messed the system a little bit with that, like oh, okay. freaked it out, you know. So I rolled again, uh, and I got a uh, that would be oh no, actually that's uh, uh, that's a 16, not a 15. I'm sorry, 16. I can mass, I promise. Does that, that was hit? hit, right? Yeah, that was to hit. Okay, yeah. And this is from hiding, so you're going to... Sneak attack. Get a sneak attack. All right. Sneaky DMG. Yep. yep. So that is... Okay, so the 1d6 plus 2, which makes uh, 7 for the, uh, the thing, then adding in the sneak attack, which is just another straight d6. So seven for a grand total of ten damage. All right. So that you you deal a really a really powerful blow and you you stab him really hard, and uh, it seems that like uh, and he seems to be like uh, very weary, but he is still standing, just uh, barely. All right. Nope. Um, well, Eleven HP. Oof. Of course. Uh, bonus action. Disengage. Because nice. it's one of those three things. And then I am going to uh, move my full 30 feet uh, away from them and 
uh, towards the our oncoming friends. You coward, get back here. So, yeah, he's at 30 feet away. I know I'm not half as dumb as you look. <laughs> You'll pay for that. Um, and that will be my turn. Okay. These guys are initiative 11, so who's next? Um, Jack. Uh, I'm just running. Uh, all I can do is run. What's the range of your spells? Uh, jingling, jingling, jingling. <laughs> I think most of my spells are like uh, a range of 30 feet, and my speed is 30, so I at least need to... Yeah. Uh, uh, you can dash, though, for 60. Okay, well... You don't have magic missile. Yeah, well, they're not... Oh, wow. Never mind. That is, like, 120 feet. So you can get to within range in this turn, but you just can't do anything this turn. Okay. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, I yeah, I'm I'm booking it. My with with five of them, magic missile's not going to go too far. I was going to try to do uh, some sort of group spell, but I'm probably not going to get there in time. So anyway, I'm just dashing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We got you. All right. So, yeah. Uh, next, I, what's that now? Um, Alessi, you've got to make a death saving throw. Good luck. Um, Funny thing about that. Yeah. So, I looked up the rule for uh, massive damage. Uh, mm. It is an instant death. So if you, oh, if you, no. yeah, if you, if you uh, get hit with uh, your maximum hit points after reaching zero damage, you die instantly. That's what I thought it was. Wait, what, wait, what was what was your max your max HP? My max HP was thirteen. Wait, did you say thirty five, Pedro? You took thirty five yeah. damage in total. Yeah, so after after subtracting 13, I get like 18 or something like that. So it's uh, so the, you became does, putty. Does that have to be one hit or um, could it... is this? Yeah, this was multiple people at different times, not all well, at once. Here's here's the thing though: is after he because if we actually went by what would have happened because they were all using their term stabbing him and they would have kept doing it when he got down. So if you're talking about individual hits. What would have happened is after, let me see, um, after hit number, it's like first one is five, then the second one is um, seven. So, so then it was that would be 13, and then they would have, then the, the next three would have um, stabbed him the further three times. Wait, there was, there was five people though, right? Yeah, it, there was five of them and each one of them stabbed you. So okay. five burly men just jumped wait, on. Wait, 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 wait. So what would have happened was the first two, five and seven, that brings me to, to one HP. Then the third hit would have brought me below uh, zero HP, which is when I would have been had, had to start rolling death saving throws. And then the next two hits after that would be to would be instant losses of death saving throws. So I have one yeah. more. That's saving throw well, at this point. He here's the thing though. So um when um so here's the thing though. Um normally when you take damage while unconscious, that's an automatic uh failed death saving throw. The thing is though, is that when someone uses a melee weapon to um to attack someone who's incapacitated, it's an automatic crit, and critical hits are two death saving throws. So he's dead. F's in chat. Yes. <laughs> Rip. He's not dead, he's putty. So, we got our, <laughs> finally our first KIA player. Yes. Well. And on his first outing, too. Yup. Alright, let that be a lesson to us all. Mm. Don't, uh, don't try to do things that your character isn't specced for. That's the lesson. Oh, I thought the lesson was Why do you think I wasn't sneaking in there? <laughs> uh, I don't know what the lesson is, but we definitely learned it. 
if anybody has a soundboard, uh, they should play the uh, the yeah. trumpet. We yeah. should play tap. And the, the dark, the dark yeah. souls you died. I, I was thinking like fail horn from. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out in post. Do it. Do play, it. play the Dark Souls soundtrack. Of the, you died. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So uh, Alessi is dead. So a a that pool of blood the... starts forming around him. Because that brings us to Aranus. Yes. So I have my my longbow. Uh, my range is 150 and. We, you, uh, the GM said we were 180 feet away. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, when you started. So I I close in 40 feet because that's my movement. And uh, can I fire the same action? Yeah, isn't that right? You, you, it's only if you dash that you lose your attack, right? Yep. Uh, let's Cause... see. It says somewhere 40 feet walking. Somewhere. <laughs> So uh, whatever, I just move forty feet, um, and I fire. I, so D twenty. Hello. Yep. 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 Spare fight. Yep. That's D twenty. Roll, please. Oh. <laughs> I got a four. Oh, no. oh no. boy. Oh no. So, so no, this works out perfectly. So unless he died, I'm just like, uh, I, I just walk up 40 feet. I, I gingerly like lift up my, no, not gingerly, like without any motive, motivation, just lift up my, my longbow, apply like 20 pounds of pressure onto the <laughs> string. And, <Blunk. laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, how could this have happened? Oh. <laughs> uh. All right. So, wait. So uh, then, where are we then? That I, I don't know. Did the, the does end. anyone have a lower initiative uh, than uh, Bread does? <laughs> um, mm. Oh, <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's a head is amazing. So what did what did you get, Uranus, on your attack? Uh, he missed. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. I, I described my action as very unmotivated, <laughs> lackadaisical. Yeah. Why? Well, he half-heartedly pulls. His, his no, bow. I walk forty feet, and then I, I put, half-heartedly lifted up my bow. Then even bring the string to like full tightness. I just kind of put twenty pounds of pressure, and the the arrow flew about like twenty feet. <laughs> I see. Funk. All right. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be um, it's going to be um, their turn. So, um, Kaimenos, you are thirty feet away. Mm-hmm. And uh, there are four of them left. So the first one is going to be like, get back here. He's going to throw a spear at you. Okay. <laughs> I just need to check the range on that. Okay. It's going to be with disadvantage. Okay. Because it's he's throwing it 30 feet. Okay, uh, does an 11 hit? Nope. All right. So um, so the next guy is going to get up next to him and uh, then throw his spear. And because of pack tactics, it ha- it's just normal. Mm-hmm. But he only got a 7 to hit. Nope. <laughs> the, the next guy is going to go for it. Um... 17. That will hit. All right. And the last guy. Um, okay. He will not hit. He got, he rolled a two. Nope. So. 
All right, you take four damage as a spear um, gr uh, glance, uh, glances your side. Okay. Uh, in response, Hellish Rebuke. Uh -oh. <laughs> they take uh, 2d10 fire damage. Uh, What's the dex save for that? Because I'm pretty uh, sure. This says dexterity saving throw. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I thought it was a will. Yeah. Oh, so was it what, his dex versus though. my dex? Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's because it's um an ability is gonna be all right. So it's going to be eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your um. I'm pretty sure it's charisma modifier. Um, and that's gonna be the e ability. I'm trying to find it really quick here. Doesn't actually say. Yeah, it just says the, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw, um, but it doesn't say like what I anything about me. Like what what it goes up against is me because it's it's not a, it's not like an actual like magic spell. It's my a reaction that I have. Uh, I yeah, damage. but you're casting the hellish rebuke spell. See here. So he has to do a save. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm looking through the attributes and stuff. It doesn't say which thing it's supposed to be. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Because I'm right on the uh, right on their site for it, too. Very strange. Let me see if I can. Uh, I can't find it. I'll just go with whatever you say then because I cannot find it at all. That sucks. Okay. Oh, well. Um, we'll figure it out later. My... All right, so that's my... It's D8 plus which thing? Um, No, so it's 8 plus your proficiency eight. bonus plus your charisma modifiers, the spell save DC. Okay. Okay. So that'll be the threshold uh, that he needs to meet in order to uh, take out damage. That would be a 12, then. Okay, so he needs to get a 12 on dexterity. And that'll, that only halves the damage, by the way. Yep. Okay, so he got a natural 20. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. yeah so only he, just the damage. he just dodges out of... Yeah, but... Uh, I'm still in the... His Say it only halves the damage because that's uh, what's that's true. Says. I will stay within the rules. So, <laughs> so all right, take half damage. All right, so it's uh, two half of two d ten. So yep. So come on now, roll them. Thank you. Uh, so that'll be seven because it came up as two sevens at a fourteen. I'll right. take seven damage. Seven fire damage. Okay. So he he uh he starts rolling on the ground and freaking <laughs> out. He's like, oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire. Yeah. Alright, so which one of you dumb shits is next? I just yell that after he starts <laughs> his stop drop and roll. <laughs> roll one D4. Uh, the first yeah. guy who who you uh, who you almost killed. I'm rolling a D4. No, I rolled a D4 to see which one oh. said uh, who's next. Oh no, I said that. Oh, you don't know to 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 answer. Oh, to which one? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. gotcha. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Me. Okay, so now it's um. Wait, whose turn is it then? Mine, I think. Uh, Alexander's. Yeah. How? Yes. What is the range on your on your crossbow? Thirty. Oh damn it! You're not even gonna be. You're not even gonna be there yet. No, no, I'm not. You're gonna dash again, and that's all you got. <laughs> I'm not gonna dash crossbow. again. I do have a crossbow. It's called two hand crossbows. And now I'm, I'm a dual wielding crossbow man. Anyway, all right. What are you doing, man? I will run. Uh, I guess I'll run sixty feet. He'll keep running, basically. <laughs> 
Uh, so, so we were hey, around. You guys, we were around hundred. You... We were originally around one hundred and eighty feet away, right? Yes. So sixty. That. Um... So yeah, he's within sixty feet now. I think. Yeah. I will be able to engage next round. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm able to um, move and cast at the same time. Well, it's um, is it my turn then? I well, okay, wait. I'm how done. far did you move, um, Cold Miser? Uh, well, I went uh, sixty uh, uh, last time. If I go thirty this time, I would be within range. Yeah, no, you can you can move um, up to your your movement and still cast. Um, right. It's just if you dash and go double movement, then that's your turn. But if you go thirty feet, you still you can still attack. All right, y'all well, are skipping me now. Okay, uh, whose turn is it? Is it? That's my turn. Yeah, okay. that was the hellish rebuke. Thank God was a reaction. <laughs> yep. But I'm pretty sure it'll be Cold Miser's turn after that. Yes. yes. So I'm just going to level my crossbow again and take aim at uh, whichever one it was that opened his mouth. Yep. The guy with one HP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I just have to hit. Yep. Okay, so D20. Uh, that is... 16. Okay. Does that hit? Yep. <laughs> How do you kill him? Uh, I just level it. Uh, he's still holding it like he's like pointing at me like he's going to be coming after me or whatever. Yep. And I literally just let fly and it just goes right between his eyes, drops him. Nice. And then bonus action, disengage, and I move back another 30 oh, feet. <laughs> <laughs> Run like hell. <clears throat> That's my turn. Oh. Yep. All right. It's your turn, Jack. And All right. 60 feet away from so, these uh, yep. two, there, two of them. Uh, there, there was a pack of, of five, them. and two of them already already down. Yep. There's three of them left, and one of them is uh, and one of them is uh, injured from uh, being on fire. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'm going to uh, like as, as I keep. You know, still, still, still. I was still doing the dashing. I'm starting to uh, go into a more even pace. Um, I reach into my satchel as I go and uh, take a, a a dried cricket, like crush it in my hands, and start uh, uh, murmuring and uh, cast sleep. All right. Did you cast sleep? What's the range? Nice. Uh, Ninety feet. Oh, yeah, you're within that. All right, Spellson's creatures. So how how far away were you? Um, well, by the time I'm done moving, I'll be within ninety feet. Okay. I, I can start the, uh, the the chanting and the uh, material components. I just have to, whenever it's all done, be within range, right? Yeah. Show off. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And... Can you provide screenshots of the, those dies? Uh, no, because I'm rolling them. <laughs> um, there's 14, 20, 24. Um, that would be 27 hit points of uh, uh, falling asleep. All right. So the injured one. Starting with starting with the uh, one that has the lowest hit points. Yeah. So the injured one, someone behind, uh, someone behind, um, someone behind them, and um, and uh, one of the and one of the two uh, undamaged ones uh, fall asleep. All right. I lean. I turn my head back over my shoulder, by, and they just yell, "About time you were useful for something." Yeah. Great. You just woke <laughs> them up. <laughs> Good, great! You finally used your magic, right? You haven't seen that before. <laughs> whose uh, whose turn does that leave us to then? It's uh, afterlife boy. 
After a life, boy. Dead. I mean, my turn Dead. is irrelevant at this point. <laughs> yes. Uh, All right. yeah. you, uh, maybe haunt one of the uh, the sleeping people that killed you. <laughs> haunt their dreams. Yeah. Give them so sleep. you see the ghost of uh, you see the ghost of um. Oh fuck! I forgot his name. I literally. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> the ghost slowly uh, uh, of my character slowly waft over towards uh, Aranis and go. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Time to roll the twenty. No, 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 not two, not two. No, there you go. Roll. Yes. Yes, finally I'm useful. I roll the 19. Nice. nice. You hit. Um, I, I have a, a I'm assuming you're attacking the awake guy and not the sleeping guys because you'd have disadvantage to hit them cuz they're prone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um So, do I just roll piercing? I well, you're using a longbow, so it's what the damage is going to be 1d8 plus your dexterity modifier. Yeah, so 1d8 plus 2. Yes. So I'll roll that. I rolled a 6. Nice. 6 on the dice? Uh, six, it, it says 6 total. Right. Yeah, so you like, um, yeah, so you're going to take out like more than half of his health. As he as he takes a really hard shot into the shoulder and starts stumbling back. That was useful. <laughs> that was useful. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be their turn. So him uh, realizing how uh, screwed he is, he's gonna turn around and he's going to uh, and he's going to. Uh, um, move, uh, move back 20 feet, and he's gonna use his action to shake awake, uh, the chiefess, and then, um, he's going to, uh, basically get her to her feet, and that's the end of his turn. So, All right, top of the order. Top of the order, is that me? That's you. Yep, you're running, you're boy. Old. Keep running. Hey, yeah, you're yep. still what? So they're an additional thirty feet away. Can I? From where okay, you were. well, I, I will get within thirty feet and attack. Well, how far, how far away were you from their original position last turn? I, I thought we were originally 180, um, then 60 we minus original. 60 minus yet another 60. Yeah, no. Last turn, how far away were you? I was. I had just moved, I moved 60 twice. You were 40 so away. Like, yeah, so now yeah. you're... So right now, you're 70 away at the start of your turn. Damn it. Okay, I guess I will... <laughs> Keep running. <laughs> run, Alexander, what's, run. what's the ranger in your crossbow? <laughs> it's only 30 feet, he said. It's only thirty. It's only the yeah. Sixty plus sixty is I mean, one twenty. You can shoot at disadvantage. That's four. No, he's forty. Okay, I'm away. gonna shoot. I'm gonna move within. Th I'm gonna move thirty feet and shoot with disadvantage. Nice. So it's what you do is you roll two dice and take the lowest result. All right. So that that one seventeen. And are you kidding me? Fucking one. Oh, oh, got a nap one. One. oh Roll no. severity. Roll me a D100. Hashtag been there. Roll you a D100? Yep. You want to roll low. By the way, Pedro, there's my my dice. Uh, is 39 low? 29 um, low? I mean, I mean it's not bad. So, 29 um, not... <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, Green. so your, uh, so the string on your, uh, cross, the cord on your crossbow is going to snap as you fire it and miss. <laughs> oh, but you're I'm not going to, but one... you don't, but you didn't do any friendly fire. So I drop my, sec my, that crossbow. And... I mean, you can get it repaired later, but it would cost money. 
Oh, I've got a mend spell. I can also probably help fix it. Red too. Because the wizard's so useless. I can undo your um, critical misses. Out of combat. All right, who's next? Uh, that would be me. I'm actually reading something up on sneak attack really quick here. Actually. I can't believe I... I, I mean, the, se- the first roll I did on that was 17, and the second one was bad. So, yeah, we don't have anybody within five feet of anybody, though, so I can't use sneak attack again. Um, All right, okay. I, I think I'm going to go into my character sheet here and prove to you I've got two crossbows. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, because they're hand crossbows. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I got two of okay, them. Then. In that case, I just got to. Uh, I've got to pull out the my uh, crossbow thing again wow. and run with that. Yep. Oh, oh uh, but, but I can't. You also, the... you'd also moved effectively sixty feet away on your turns. Well, the grand total of I can just move up thirty feet. It's not a big deal. Yep, and you'll be 60 feet away. Yep, your mom's not a big deal. <laughs> Sorry. Ignore me. Cut that out. Listen, one <laughs> code. <laughs> if you're going to talk, you need to do it in that obnoxious voice. Oh. Why you mean like this? <laughs> yes. All right. So I will move. So I'm. That would. Because I was only 60 feet away from them to begin with. They move. And then they move away? thirty feet back. Which I'm back within sixty feet then. Yep. Okay. Um. Actually, now how many of them are still asleep though? Like how many are uh, we still two. There's two. There's two that are asleep. How? Asleep. They they abandoned them. <laughs> Heavy sleepers. Okay. The, no, the, no. Cold visor can they are, spell on them. Say, those two are only sixty feet away then. Sleeping ones. No. Okay. So the um, so the sleeping ones are thirty feet away from you. Okay. The the people who are running, uh, who are trying to escape, are sixty feet away. Okay. In that case, then. Um, wait. All right. So grand total, like if I only move my regular movement, they're only thirty feet away. Yep. Okay. Well, in that case, never mind that. I'm gonna bonus action dash to get up next to one of the sleeping ones, and I. Because they are incapacitated, uh, I get to use sneak attack, and yep. I'm going and, to bring and my auto strike crit <laughs> and auto crit. So I'm going to wipe these little a holes right out with my uh, thing here. All right, so that's um, is it double dice or double damage? Um, well, first you have advantage. You have advantage to uh, to attack to for your attack rolls uh, to hit a sleeping target. It's an automatic hit, though. Yeah. So you um, can't. No, the sleeping target dodges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they just roll over. over they sleep. They yeah, roll over. Their sleep. <laughs> well, I, I uh, well I rolled a seventeen, so that hits yeah, anyway, right? Yeah, Wait, that but hits. it was an auto crit, you said. Yeah, it auto crits. Oh. I said, so I'm wondering, do you want me to double my dice, my damage dice, or just double the total damage from one dice? Um, in, in 5e, you double your dice. Double my dice. Okay, so that is then 2d12 plus 1 each. That would be f- 14 damage. Yep, so uh, that, 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 um, that one you hit is dead. I just, I just, I'm staring right at the other two that have run a little bit further away, and I just bring my scythe up over my head and straight down, bring it straight down into his chest. Just All you hear is that meaty chunk sound as it just ends him. I never take my eyes off of them. Still glowing silver. Nice. So next is and... Jack. Mm-hmm. Jack, you're up. And you're muted. Yep, yeah, so, sorry. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to uh, like, I kind of slowed down a little bit so I can do a proper cast while I was uh, moving forward. So I go back to my full-on sprint 
um because i just try trying to get to the battlefield and avoid as much bloodshed as possible that's why i cast that sleep spell oh <laughs> anyway uh i should be um there's another 60 feet getting uh, closer so that uh yeah, I, I'm. Next round, I'll be within range of just normal stuff. Okay. So you can't you can't cast sleep again on them. Um. Well, they went into like the other guy went into the uh, tent to uh, wake up the uh, the chiefess, right? I wouldn't really know where they are or, or what they're doing. Oh. oh, I thought they were outside. Right there. No, oh, I thought they were like in the tent or something. No. Um. She had left the town when there was commotion, but yeah. I. Yeah, I guess I could do another and then sleep. You put her to sleep, and then he basically got got her woken up, and then they're moving. I, I guess I do have another sleep, so I could just do a another thirty foot. Uh, like crush up another grasshopper and do it again. I didn't. I thought you couldn't see him anymore. No, you can see him. All right. There's eleven hit points. There's twelve hit points. That would be eleven plus twelve is twenty three, and then plus one, so twenty four. 24 hit points uh, asleep altogether. Yeah, they're going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Altogether, they had 15 hit points. Oof. They're unconscious. Well, yeah, I mean, the chief, this is like, uh, is, is has peasant stats. For yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, that. That's it. I'm just trying to get closer to the uh, battlefield and just right, try to make so. this as uh, peaceful as possible. Yep. Time so. to roll. <laughs> so before uh, Aranis rolls, um, I just whisper into his ear. I know what your mother looks like, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I rolled a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> the haunting works. You, you, you feel very affected by this, and you miss. <laughs> as you as you failed to hit the sleeping target. So I'm at what thirty seven arrows. Wait, doesn't he doesn't he get advantage though? If the target is sleeping, you should get advantage. No, because it's prone. So you don't oh. get advantage. Well, no, yeah. he he's spread out like it's, he's. Okay. No, it, oh. that makes sense. Pro prone to, yeah, so you have disadvantage to hit prone targets, but you have advantage to hit sleeping targets, so they can't. So it evens out. out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, where are we now? Because they're all asleep. I'm told to chief this. Uh, initiative is or is over. You can act normally now. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna crew the draw everybody. I was gonna say it's coup de gras time. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I, look I'm for. Putting it... Go I'm ahead. gonna put an air bolt through each butter everybody's head. Hold no, 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 no! Leave the woman alone for a minute. Off the other, the other fools. I don't, I don't really care. I will off of. Kaimano slowly takes her into a tent. Oh no! No, no. no. Um, oh, no. Right now, <laughs> uh, I look for for the arrows that for for usable arrows to replenish my stockpile. <laughs> Uh, no, I I go up and I do I I do actually um, search the the woman to see if she's got anything on her like any kind of uh, paperwork like to see if anybody's maybe like waiting for them I'm like expecting them that sort of thing. Show me any a kind of money. Show me a paper. Um, so you 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 will find papers, but um, mm -hmm. I don't have anything written for it yet. No, that's so fine. So I'm going to take my scimitar and cut up a. Cut off all their heads. <laughs> are you, are you also going to make a, a stick relax. figurine? No, I'm... Relax. 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 
Alexander, why, why don't point. you go teabag some of these dead guys? No, I'm cutting their heads off. Are you going to make effigies out of their corpses on a stick figure? No. We have to. No, I'm just not gonna... making a mess. We have to be able to get rid of these corpses so that nobody knows that we were ever here. I was making. I was going to make it look like uh, they were attacked by orcs. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you propose orcs, that anyone's going to? Yeah. How are you proposing to make it look like somebody else did it? Cutting off their heads and putting it oh, on pikes. Orcs. orcs have been retconned out of my setting because I realized it was way too unoriginal. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, some other barbaric tribe that cuts off people's heads and sticks them on pikes. Carl, where are his hands? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, what I do instead of looking for arrows, I just I, I look for salvage. I look through all the corpses for you know coins and things and arrows on top of that. Just <laughs> anything that I can pillage and put in my inventory. Okay. Uh, DM. They each have a brass. They each have a brass wrist. Uh, each have a brass bracelet. So is that five brass bra- bracelets? Yes. Good. Uh, DM, those. how far away are we from the river? Um, you're probably about um maybe a ten minute walk. Okay. Alexander, off their heads now. You have a job first. I want you to take each body. Why don't you have Aranus help you? Because I'm going to need Jack, I think, for a minute. Well, have we need Aranus. to make what's his ass disappear, the, the dead body of... Take all the bodies, drag them down to the river, toss them in. No, we want. We don't want what's his ass being even nearer. No, no, no. Place. She's, she's not dead yet. She's just unconscious. Not yet. her. The, the eunuch. Who cares? Throw him in the river, too. He's dead. Do you want him to be found with the rest of the bodies? You see, yes. you see the eunuch just float over next to Kaimanos and whisper, "Ass, a little D. <laughs> Handle my light work." <clears throat> now on, you, you now hear on. you you hear only silence. <laughs> Wait, could you set your your little D to bug? Uh, what's his face? The eunuch in in the afterlife. Mm. And that's what I'm talking like, well, D, don't you want to have a little fun with this guy? So, uh, yeah, so, uh, so you, you see, um, you, you see a, a bright light, uh, from above. And, uh, the, and, uh, the eunuch is, uh, uh, it, uh, in a, in a harp, um, falls down <laughs> at, at the eunuch's feet. <laughs> uh, also a pair of wings. <laughs> and he's just he's singing Ave Maria. Yeah. He starts floating slowly up and um and uh enter and enters that little spot of light in the in the sky. So I'm literally dragging off all the bodies I, and pulling I, into the I gladly help to yeah. drag off the, the eunuch because he's a mudblood and I, I do not believe in mudbloods. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, all of them just Pitch them all in the river. They're going to wash down river, probably out to the ocean. Nobody's going to find them. Who cares? He's That's returning right. to nature. Well, I, I'm just That's saying, right. we don't want the, him to be found with them because they know that people saw us all together. Then mm. we bury him. And yeah, put the heavy stone. We bury in him the in body. the forest. Yes. We just toss his corpse up. We return his body to head. nature as all things should be. God, you fucking retarded. Okay. No, I am an elf. I believe that he should return to nature. Shut up, Nightmare. <laughs> Just the, the casual racism. <laughs> he, he is a mudblood. <laughs> Only nature can purify this. Oh, do, 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 do whatever with the corpses. Bone. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm dragging bodies and throwing them in the river. <laughs> this is very much D&D Crusades. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of looking aghast at horror. I like I just cast a couple sleep spells. That's all. Jack, get over here. Oh well, thank you for uh, casting those uh, sleep spells. Yeah, I, 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 I called Jack over. Coward. So it's... Jack was intercepted. <laughs> um. <sighs>
you, you know the the memes that uh, have like it's uh it's four o'clock it's time for your uh like whatever like that, that that's pretty much the uh, response i have for kai Mino. It's like yes <laughs> I, I, right. I, I, I walk over dejected to Kaibinos. It's time right. for your daily dick flattening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I just call you. Right, right, listen, listen, just help me tie her up. I'm not going to make you kill her. Just help me tie her oh, up. I didn't know you were into those things. All right. Uh, I, I, I do so. Weird, <laughs> I, there. Okay. All right. So. We tied her up. Uh, it doesn't matter if we gag her at this point because there's nobody around now anymore. We have literally killed them all. Um, so um, at that point, I actually lean down and uh, slap her face a little bit to wake her up. Is there? Is it, she is awake. I'm, What's her name again? Did we ever find out her name? I never gave her a name. I never care. <laughs> I, I basically find every excuse possible not to name characters. Uh, all right, I, all right, we'll just go with this. All right, now Mary Sue, listen. <laughs> <laughs> we were sent out here to off you. Now, why would your uncle want us to off you? And what are you willing to? What are you willing to give us to keep us from offing you? Mm, let me let me think. You, you might have to go into exile. My uncle wanted to off me because I because I am the only legitimate heir to the throne. And or the heir to the clan. And what is your plan? Like, what are you going to give us if we don't off you? Because he's offering us a decent uh, a decent amount to. Uh, Make sure you disappear. You will always have a uh, um, no friend. I I can have the clan. Um, I can have the clan uh, build uh, build all of you, <clears throat> build each of you a house, and um, and I can assign and I can assign five acres of land to each of you. I will love that. I and, want to increase my my holdings. Uh, That's a good is, start. Hey, I'm already a plus of the shop. I want some more. Uh, anyway, like I, I just want to solve like whoever set fire to the orphanage. Um, <laughs> Jack just wants to be I the can, Scooby. <laughs> I can use, I, I can mobilize clan resources in order to help you accomplish this. Um, I think that's a little bit better because you see, I don't really care for your uncle. I kind of want to kill him. I. Okay. I, 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 I literally war? was not hired for this. <laughs> you, you weren't hired to, to engage in our politics, I assume. Nope. Oh, look. I was I was hired to do a job. Now. I start I also have to be a little bit. Come on, I'm what? like, if you wanted to work with her, why didn't we just come here and talk to her? Yeah, you kind of you build, have to have leverage when negotiating. Of, my, uh, of the five, of the five tribes. <laughs> Apparently, Alexander brought his dog along. Oh, geez, yeah, you you killed the leaders of the six tribes that supported me. <laughs> you have to have leverage when negotiating. <laughs> hey, listen, I didn't want to kill them. They kind of, you know, jumped us. So that was on them. I mean, you attacked us in the middle of the night with weapons. I don't know what you were going to expect. <laughs> I, I, I start drinking some whiskey. <laughs> I, I now, just, since well, I'm, an, I'm an elf noble, how would I view her since she's a barbarian? Would I be, view her close to, like, nature or despise her? Everybody well, here, um, be right back. Like, okay, so, you're surrounded by so Legally or your character's bigotry? Because legally speaking... Um, you would probably be of like equal standing because you are um, among the leadership of one of the of one of the clans or tribes. Okay, so I'm a noble, and I would consider her to be a noble, basically. 
Um, well, legally speaking, but you know, she's a human, so you 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 could, if you wanted, just uh, consider her to be uh, worthless. So I, I would basically give her a fast death rather than a slow death. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> mm. Mm, okay. Well, well, there's four of us here. Why don't we all cast a vote on what we want to do? Is there a slaver nearby? <laughs> <laughs> We are not. Uh, the Empire does not allow uh, for legal slavery. We are not selling her in slavery. There's right, plenty let's... of though. There is plenty of illegal slavery and an illegal. Sex we slavery. are not selling her into slavery. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That's already a hard no. We could we ransom her to her word. tribe. We no, are already coming off as the worst. Well, I mean, the ever. uncle. She says, "Well, the uncle would pay for my ransom, but he would want me dead." Yeah, we're, we're, we're already going to get paid no matter what on this. We'll one. take uh, her alive, and he'll pay us more. He can have fun with her. Nah, he just wanted her dead and gone. He he wanted it gone and quiet so that nobody knew. Like she, he just wanted her to just disappear. Fun with her? Are you talking about incest here? No, I'm talking about torture chambers. Fucking nightmares. She, she just looks at you, Alexander, like, jeez. All right, so this is basically what we got. We've got two options here. We either just cut her throat and toss her in the river, or we let her go and force her to go into exile somewhere. All right, I'm back. Did I miss okay. anything? We're deciding uh, what to do with her. We, we've got a 50 50 you know, split here. we got to decide either we just cut her throat and dump her in the river. Uh, I, 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 vote, and, I vote against that. I vote against that too. Right, then the other thing we've got is that we uh, force her into exile and then go kill her uncle. Yeah. Uh, so, so how do you feel about exile? Um, why, feels, why would we force that. her into exile? She'll just be back. Well, at least like exile for a year or so. Um, why? Why are we doing it for this? Well, like I, I thought we were supposed to like. Uh, okay, I'm taking guys. the decision out of your hands. Give, and I give her to the sword. uncle for for in exchange for more gold. I take the decision out of everybody's hands. I pull out my sword and cut her throat. Blah. Well, I'm just disappointed <laughs> because I, I I that's twenty less gold pieces. <laughs> and then that's I look over at Alexander. Alexander, drag her into the river. Send her back to nature. Right. This was vi this is very Al Capone of you. <laughs> I'm done playing games. I wasn't going to get what I wanted out of it. Wait. Enough. Does she have a dagger on her? No. Oh, I thought I she had a dagger. Dead body. She has, I no, but she, no, but she has a bracelet. Uh, she has a bracelet, a ring, and a necklace. I take those. I take them all. No. Uh, give, give, me, give, roll initiative give me her looting her corpse. No, give, no, hang on. Give me her, give me her copper bracelet so that when I go back to the, ring. when I, I go back to the when I go back to her uncle, I can give him the copper bracelet as proof of death. I think the ring would the be ring. better. I want the fucking ring. What what is worth more? I don't care what's the worth ring, more. I just need the ring. Death. Seems the ring seems to just be um seems to be foreign jewelry. Oh, so it would be more of a mark of death than a bracelet that can easily be faked. Uh, this is a chief's bracelet, though. Yeah. This is something that the nobles have. Okay, then the bracelet and we keep the ring. Yeah, all, you all can have all the other stuff. I just need that as proof of death. Believe me, you'll have it back after I cut the, his throat, too. You can have is, it back. Are there any daggers Wait, left over you? from the chieftains we killed? Uh, no, but there are seven tents. Is there anything inside the tent? Um, each of the tents has a sleeping bag, and also has uh has seven days worth of rations. I take a tent, sleeping okay. bag, and rations. I, I start stress eating. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we pack up everything, and we each get a tent and a sleeping bag. Oh, then what do we do with the remaining three? We sell them. Profit. Okay, you, I will pick two. You can carry them then. I'm not carrying them. I have contacts in the banks. I can. I can. I can. You carry the extras then. I'm not carrying the extras. 
So, how, how many tents am, am I carrying by myself? Well, Four. you'll have to you'll have to you'll have to disassemble and uh, and wrap up four tents. Okay. <laughs> Each of them is probably good. To... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean they they fold up, obviously. Four tents, uh, four know, sleeping bags. They're made of like hide and stuff. I'm but... taking two tents. Okay, you, you can have. Now you're down to three okay. tents. That's scary. Yes, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Great, so there's four of you, there's seven tents, there's three four tents, and, uh, three, tents three sleeping bags, and you have two tents, two sleeping bags. Uh, uh, Jack and I each have one. And each. so, what, seven days of food? So, so that'd be 14 food yeah, rations. Seven, seven, food, seven days food rations. Okay. Um, all right, well, since we've now divvied that up and we've all decided we're going to march back to the uh, to the city... <laughs> That's probably the best place for us to wrap up, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Min, 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 don't, Minnie, don't touch me there. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. On that note, I'm going to be the end. You realize I'm going to use that as our end clip. Please do. <laughs>